Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Wild well Wisdom. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very special stone, which is citrine. Citrine, the stone of wealth and prosperity. Now, before we get into it, I just want to quickly ask you to don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can be informed of all future videos to come. Now, citrine is called the way it is because it comes from the old French word for lemons. And in my head, I would love to believe that they called it that way, not just because it reminded them of lemons due to its yellowish color, but because it is a stone that helps you turn lemons into lemonade, right? And it does that due to its wonderful properties, uses, and powers. Now, when it comes to its particular powers, please know that in the old ages, soldiers used to put citrine in their swords. Why? Because they used to believe that it would provide them protection and protection from physical harm as well as evil thoughts. But in modern times, citrine is associated as being the stone of wealth and prosperity. And that is in large part due to its association to the lower chakra, specifically to the solar plexus chakra. And the reason why the solar plexus chakra is so important is because it's the chakra associated with warrior-like strength, with your personal power and confidence, with your sense of creativity and joy. Therefore, when this chakra is blocked, it comes to no surprise that, you will, that it will actually affect your prosperity and your capability of bringing money into your life because you will be overwhelmed by everything and anything. And that sense of overwhelmness will carry through and make it unable for you to find creative solution to anything that you may be going through in life. Therefore, how do we use this beautiful crystal to create wealth and prosperity? Knowing now that the solar plexus chakra can hinder our capabilities to manifest if it is blocked. And knowing that citrine will help you unlock or unblock your solar plexus chakra, what ways can you use it to bring prosperity? Well, in the sense of unblocking your solar plexus, the easiest way is to use it as jewelry, which is why I have it here as a necklace. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use it as jewelry. If you can bring a long thread so that it falls actually on your solar plexus, then that would be even better so that it directly is in touch with your solar plexus chakra and it helps it on blocking it so that you can become creative again, so that you can have that sense of self power and inner confidence in order to be able to become more positive and chase after your dreams. So that is number one way in which I use citrine. Um, if I feel that my solar plexus is blocked, I just use it in the form of jewelry. And the second way in which I recommend for everyone to use citrine in order to bring abundance and wealth into your life is by using it within your meditation practices. I personally love the sixth phase meditation by Vishen Lakhviani. He, this is part of Mind Valley. So if you're not aware of it, or if you don't know much about this meditation, please Google it. It's easily available to YouTube. This meditation is actually wonderful. And what you're going to do when, if you use citrine while performing this meditation is that in a way you're going to be charging it with your intention. So yeah, use it in your hand, usually your non-dominant hand. I like to hold it in my left hand because it's not my non-dominant hand. And while I perform the meditation and I go through the six steps within this meditation, I also vision and vision in my mind all of those intents and good wills and good powers going into the citrine itself so that I can charge it with my intention. You don't need to do this every time. If you do this meditation daily, you don't need to do it every time as the citrine will stay charged until you charge it with something else or with a different intent. But doing it or charging it while you're performing this meditation, I found it's a wonderful work way of making this crystal work for you. And the last topic that I want to touch quickly, difference between natural citrine and heat treated citrine. I personally do not like to use heat treated citrine. If you have searched about it before, you know that heat treated citrine is basically amethyst. It is amethyst that has been gone through a heat process and has turned the purple 
um, properties into yellow. So the purple color into yellow. I personally don't like to use it as citrine because I don't consider it to be citrine. This is my personal opinion. Um, clearly there is different opinions. Some people say that it does work for them. For me, it is still an amethyst. It is just a yellow amethyst. So it has all of the properties of amethyst still. And if you wanna know more about amethyst and how amethyst can help you, then I suggest that you look at this video right here that I made prior. But for me, it's very important that you get a natural citrine. In my case, I use a natural raw unpolished citrine. This is my favorite. It does take a little bit more time to work, but it brings about miracles. Using heat treated citrine, I will leave it up to you. I personally do not recommend it, but once again, if you find that it works for you, of course, it's going to have some beautiful, wonderful properties because it is an amethyst, but I do not consider it to have the same properties that a natural citrine would have. And that is it. I hope that you find all of this information useful and that it helps you incorporate in citrine into your wealth and prosperity practices. And, you know, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I just want to say thank you for being here. And at the same time, if you want to learn more about other crystals, please don't forget to watch this video right here. Thank you once again for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Until next time.